Welcome to my video about creation of maps, markers and custom markers with Folium. Folium is a very powerful library which combines uh, the strength of, of Python with, with data and the mapping and visualization features of JavaScript concrete here, leaflet.js. So uh, Folium is a library which we need to install first of all. So let's go to the console and do a pip install Folium. Oh, come on. Actually, this should go quite quite quick because I have already installed it. So as IDE today, I will use uh, Jupyter Notebooks because it's very strong in showing live coding sessions and visualizations and so on. So also uh, Jupyter you need to install. It's a, it's a library and you can install it using pip install Jupyter. Um, also, this is already installed here, so it's quite quick. If you have any doubts, questions, problems with installation, just write it in through the comments. All right, let's start. Let's create a new notebook for Python 3. And uh, let's import Folium, first of all. Uh, so uh, the most important thing we can do with Folium is the creation of maps. So let's create a map, first of all. So to do this, we need to call the map function of Folium. And basically, um, the Folium map takes two arguments, a location uh, and the zoom. So um, about the location. So in today's session, I want to show you an example uh, within North America. So let's perhaps take some central location within North America because the location is used as the, as the center point of the map. So uh, I can really recommend to use this page here, letlong.net, where you can just type in an address and the, the, the tool will give you the latitude and longitude. So let's take some central pay, uh, place within North America, which is, I think, Dickinson and North Dakota, North Dakota, USA. And as you can see, the tool will give you the latitude and the longitude. And, jets, uh, and this we can just paste into our location. And that's it. Let's, let's try it out. Let's display the map. Um, And here we are already. You can see here we are on the map. We are quite deeply zoomed in because we choose a zoom start of 15. But of course, we can zoom out. And we can see we reach Dickinson here as our central point of the map. And if we zoom out, we get the full picture of North America. And we can even zoom more out to see the complete world. So and let's perhaps decide uh, to take a different zoom factor. Let's start with a four. Uh, and this is already giving us a good overview about North America. So let's let's stick with four for this. So this is how you can create real easy maps with Folium. Uh, but there's more. So you can also use different kind of styles. Uh, map style, so to say, in Folium they are called tiles. So uh, you can use different tiles. For example, uh, the Stam and Terrain tile, uh, style, or tile, how to say, which looks like this. Or you can use the Stam and Toner, which looks like this, some kind of black and white map. Or you can use Map Box Bright. Oh, there was a was an error. I think uh, like this. Um, let's let's stick to Mapbox. Um, bright. I kind of like it for for my use case. Um, yeah, and that's how you can create maps. Isn't it easy, right? All right. So in the next step, I will show you how to create markers. So. Um, Actually, this is quite easy also in Folium. So let's uh, we can create a marker using the marker function. Uh, and after we created a marker, 
we need to add this marker to the map M object, which we just created before. Um, a marker also has different attributes. So first of all, it also has a location. So perhaps um, let's take Seattle as a location here. Seattle, USA. And we'll, it will give us again the latitude and longitude. So let's add it. But we can also specify more attributes like uh, pop-up. Seattle, so the pop-up will uh, pop up when you click the marker. And we can also define a tooltip, which is uh, which will kind of pop up if you hover about the, the marker. So let's just say as a tooltip, click for more information. Um, and that's the standard marker, basically. Let's just run it and see what it does. So as you can see, it has created a marker here in Seattle. And if you hover about it, it says click for more information. And if you click, oh, sorry, you get the pop-up Seattle. And uh, we can also use HTML coding in here to make it, for example, bold. Um, let's try it. and run it again. And if you click the pop-up now, you can see Seattle is bold. So yeah, this is a kind of standard marker, but uh, there are more, more options for markers, which we will have a look at now. Okay, let's, let's create a second marker. Um, again, here, volume.marker. Add to M and as a location, perhaps let's take San Francisco. So let's copy the latitude and longitude again. Let's also define a tooltip. Click for more and pop up um, but as mentioned there are more options so we can also style the icon itself of the of the marker so uh, with the attribute icon let's here define it as folium icon and here we can specify further attributes like for example an icon type of picture. So for example, a cloud. Um, let's run it. And as you can see, uh, we, we added a new icon here in San Francisco, which contains a cloud um, within the icon object. But we can do more. We can also define colors and other icons. Like uh, let's, let's just copy this uh, marker from above. And perhaps let's go to Chicago. Let's create another marker in Chicago. Like this. So let's copy latitude and longitude again. Uh, and here, perhaps let's, as an icon, let's take an envelope. But let's also change the color here. Color to red. Now uh, this should create a marker in Chicago with a red envelope icon. Let's add it to M and display M and see what it does. So as you can see here, we got a new marker in Chicago. The icon is red and it contains an envelope icon. So um, that's some basic stuff you can do with markers but you can also create custom marker objects with, with custom pictures. So let's have a look at that. Okay, so for the creation of custom markers, I'm using a superhero showcase. So actually I uh, downloaded three pictures of, of Hulk, Spider-Man and Wolverine. And uh, now I'm showing you how to make markers out of them. 
So let's start with uh, Spider-Man first of all, so with Peter Parker. Um, Peter Parker was born in Forest Hill, Queens, New York. So let's look for this. Forest Hills, Queens, New York, USA. And let's find the Lady to Longitude. And let's copy them over and let's do it a little bit different this time. So let's call it Spider-Man or Location Spider-Man. And copy Longitude and Latitude into it. Then as a next step, perhaps um, let's um, define the custom icon object. So um, let's call it Icon Spider-Man. And for this, um, we, oh, we don't need a location here, but we need to create a Folium custom object, which works like this. So Folium features custom icon. And you can define the, the image here. So um, let's go to the images folder and the Spider-Man PNG picture. And we can also define a size. So let's define it, so give it a size of 100 times 100. And uh, next, let's also define the pop-up. So um, Let's call it pop up Spider Man and let's give it some HTML code. So let's give it a header Spider Man and mention the real name here Peter Parker. And also let's mention the city of birth, uh, which is Forest Hills, Queens, in New York, USA. Okay, ah, and of course we have to wrap it into quotes. Uh, now we can define the marker object already. So like we did before, folium dot marker and we of course need to add it to the map. And as location, this time we're just pasting location Spider-Man. As tooltip, we are just telling him Spider-Man. As pop-up, we choose uh, pop-up Spider-Man, which we just defined. And as icon, we now define the icon Spider-Man, uh, which we defined here. So let's run it. Let's have a look on how it looks on the map. And you can see it here. You got your Spider-Man. Um, I think I created a marker up front. Let's refresh a map. So. Let's refresh the map at the beginning. Oh, that was not the beginning here. Come on. Now let's add Seattle, San Francisco, Chicago, and Spider-Man. Like this. Oh, I forgot San Francisco. Uh, 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 here we have San Francisco. Let's run it. And let's move down. Okay, now it's um, now now we're here again. Uh, so this is Spider-Man custom mark we just created, and um, in the pop-up we see a real name: Peter Parker, City of Birth, Forest Hills, Queens, New York. So that's it, and it gives you really nice features to display markers as custom pictures or custom objects here. Um, and I will do it for two more superhero heroes now to get some practice. Um, let's continue with Hulk, perhaps. So perhaps let's just copy the stuff from the top here and rename it a little bit. So location Hulk. And for Hulk, Bruce Banner was born in Dayton, Ohio, USA. So Dayton, Ohio, 
USA. Uh, let's find the latitude and longitude and add it here. As on the icon Hulk, uh, we don't take the Spider-Man PNG, but the Hulk PNG. And as a pop-up text, we, we change the HTML to a strong Hulk <laughs> and uh, a real name of uh, Bruce Banner and the city of birth to Dayton, Ohio. USA and of course when we create the marker we need to change the location to location Hulk variable the tooltip to Hulk the pop-up to pop-up Hulk and the icon to icon Hulk let's add it to M and let's display M and we can see here we have the Hulk in Ohio let's do it one more time for Wolverine so let's again copy it from above. Let's take or rename the variables first Wolverine. Come on, Wolverine, Wolverine. And Wolverine was born in Cold Lake, Alberta, Canada. So let's have a look for the latitude and longitude, Cold Lake. Alberta, Canada. So the latitude is this and the longitude is this. Um, the image we must change to Wolverine. And the real name we have to change, of course, to oh, first of all, the, the headline to Wolverine. The real name in this case is James Harlot, or better known as Logan. The city of birth is, like mentioned, Cold Lake, Alberta, Canada. Let's also change now the variables in our marker here. So location will be changed. Um, the tooltip will be changed. Pop-up must be changed and at last the icon. Now let's have a look on how it looks on the map. And as you can see, we have a Wolverine here in Canada with uh, details on the pop-up. And basically that's it. It uh, simply shows uh, the powerful features of Folium together with Leaflet.js to create maps, to create markers, to create custom markers. So have fun playing around with it. And in case of any questions, just drop me a comment. Uh, one more hint, um, the coding uh, can of course be also executed as a script um, and I will upload the, the code to, to GitHub of course. And if you want to learn more on latitude and longitude and all this geo stuff, uh, I will post another video in the comments which explains it very good. So thank you for watching and see you soon. Thank you.